What's up, Huskies? I'm Ishwar, and you're watching the Hills Report. I'm Keanu here at this week's announcements. Today is the last day in a 12-week grading period. So if you're scared of any grades you might have, check out the tutoring page under Counseling on the Chills High School website. We would like to wish for the best for our girls' golf team at the River Ridge County Club this Monday. Check them out. What's your name and grade? Uh, my name is Taylor Wu, and I'm a senior. As a student athlete, why did you choose golf as your sport? Uh, I chose golf as my sport because my dad wanted me to play, and so I, that's how I started, and I just kind of stuck with it. What's your favorite thing about your sport? Uh, my favorite thing about the sport is probably going to team dinners after away games. What is your name and grade? I'm Erin Akabata, and I'm a junior. How often do you practice, with your team or on your own? I practice four days a week, which is Monday through Thursday with the team, and alone I practice on Sundays. What's your name and grade? My name is Kylie Han and I'm a sophomore. As a student athlete, why did you choose golf as your sport? I chose golf as my sport because I was told there are a lot of scholarships in it. Who has been a major influence in your golf life? A major influence on my golf life has been my team and my dad. What's your name and grade? My name is Aubrey Bereva and I'm a junior. How do you balance your social life and student life? Um, it's definitely hard to balance my school and social life, but I kind of my motivation is good grades and getting to college and still doing good in golf somehow. What are the positives you get out of this sport? Um, it definitely teaches you how to be patient and to move on and not to think about it for too long because after like a bad shot, you have to forget about it and keep moving on. Also on November 1st, we will have a minimum day. And on the 6th, counseling will be hosting college workshops during lunch and after school. Seniors, on November 8th, we will be having athletic signing day. If you're getting an athletic scholarship, go to the athletics room. On a similar note, if you're interested in attending a college presentation, go to Career Center or this Career Center page on the Geno Hills High School website. You can sign up on the website to be excused from classes to attend a college presentation. And remember to check the calendar regularly as new colleges are being added daily. And please remember to pick up your release form. With that, here's the schedule for next week's college presentations. UCLA on Tuesday. And that's it. Okay. Also, all students interested in taking the ASVAB test, please visit the Career Center. We would also like to share a ghost story from the theater teacher, Mrs. Rue. Well, my daughter, who just graduated last year, at the time was about five years old. And she was here at the rehearsal, and she was bored, and she's like running around the theater. And I was standing up on stage talking to someone, and I saw her run up to the booth and then dead stop and do this. And I was talking, and I'm watching it, and then she just slowly turned around and slowly walked to me and I'm like what's up and she said a man just whispered in my ear and the thing is like with little kids too you can tell when they're lying and when they're not lying you know I'm just like I said okay what did he say she said he told me I'd be careful if I were you I'm like okay so I go up there and I noticed that right where she stopped was right where that cord was and had she not whispered in her ear and stopped her, she would have tripped over that cord and just face, face planted on the cement. To watch a full interview, go check out the Spook's YouTube channel. But if you really want to be spooked, come check out the Haunted Theater, an immersive haunted maze. Tickets are $5 tonight from 5 to 9. Finally, all students who are parking in the student lot must have a valid school parking pass or be risk being ticketed or towed. Well, that's all for this week, Huskies. Remember to be safe, respectful, and responsible each and every day. Until next week, Huskies. Happy Halloween!